little windy out, so, but I have my wind muff on my lawn mo uh, sorry, on my microphone, so it shouldn't be that loud. Let me just throw this in there real quick. Alright, so, this is it right here. Pretty darn clean. This is not a brand new lawnmower. I added this yesterday actually just just came in the mail it's pretty straightforward I'm just gonna do a quick walk around I know know why it says the 01 I feel like that's the year but apparently you could only buy these this specific lawnmower in 2004 not 2001 but I gotta figure out that he never really said anything you got your throttle right here Goes all the way down, clicks into place, and goes all the way up. Your choke is a clicker again, and that's all the way. That's on. That's off. Easy. Right under here. Under the hood, you have your 18 horsepower engine your light connection up there your battery right there and oh, whoa sorry guys my stand was not tight I guess and all wow this is not good <laughs> sorry guys this alrighty anywho and all your little cards right there all of them Every single one of them. One thing about this hood is when you close it, that end is in, but really this end is like bending. Then you really gotta pull on it and then push this in with your knee so it gets right on those grooves. Lift up your hands and just hammer down on it a little bit. No mower deck under there as you can see. Absolutely nothing. A little dent in the bumper that was from the previous owner. Obviously it's it's winter. There's still some snow. <laughs> it was just in the trailer if you guys watched the previous uh, that trailer review then you would see this in it. I have my Easy Rider uh, steering wheel knob on here. This is a very nice knob as far as it goes it's a really really tight tractor as well so really really cool this would be a um, if you like push it in you could go reverse with the mower deck engage which this is your PTO here you have your key insert this is a very very tiny lawnmower key make newer ones now again the beacon light did not come with it it also does have a 12 volt which I have my oops, which I have my 12 inch amber light bar on there I have that on there I'm just going to uh, set you guys Let's do something real quick because this stand really getting on my nerves. Alright. So if you guys could just stay there for a second. While I undo that. Alright, there we go. Sorry about that. It's just the stand is extremely annoying when it gets loose. Alright, there we go. Is this little thing I had to undo, keep that there. Yeah, so this is the 12 inch amber bar light. I already did a review on that, put that in the link in the description below. I also put the review on the trailer in the link in the description. So you can check those videos out. You have your brake here. This brake goes all the way like that. As well as your parking brake here, which you just simply lift up. 
let off the brake, still holding it, and then you can let go. And then as soon as you press in the brake, parking brake thing goes down, you can then release your foot, parking brake's out. You have your pedals here, so the arrow that's pointing forward is going to have it go forward, goes all the way down, and the one that's going backwards is going to have you go backwards. Easy enough. You have your light switch here, which we'll talk about in a second. You have your hours, as you can see right there. And this is your mower deck. This is usually how you would lower it and raise it. Put that down. That's the down. That's the up position. Your cruise control goes all the way forward like that. And you can see the pedal move as I move this. See it move right there. To go reverse, you got to pull it all the way back. And then you have to hit the reverse pedal. One second. Sorry. I gotta get my gloves on. It is absolutely freezing. And it's so windy out, guys. Oh. Hang in there. Oh my god, it's so cold. <laughs> I don't know if it's windy for you guys. If it is, I apologize. Shouldn't be too windy, though. The audio should be good. There we go. Alright. Now I got my gloves on. So again, this is your up and down thing, like so. Then you have your forward and back for cruise control. Your thing, you have on and then turn it over, which we will be doing after. Alright. <coughs> That's really... It, as far as like around the lawnmower, you have your roller, push that in, pull it out to roll it, really easy. Your trailer attachment right there, a bit rusty. As far as the light goes, if I just turn the key to put the power on, your front lights, they don't have to stay on. They're used by a switch. Now some lawnmowers, you don't have a choice, they have to stay on. So once I flip that light switch, our lights are going to come on. I might put LEDs, to be honest, I might be put LEDs, I might rewire the lighting system and put some brighter lights in there. So we can match with our amber light here. Uh, but yeah, 12 volt works, as you can see. Powering this little button. But if I do turn the key, it is going to kill the power, so your 12 volt's not always running. And if I turn it on, it just goes on like so. But that's something I added just for fun. It's also a magnetic. So the back is magnetic. So especially good for a light like this. But there's already a review on the channel about this light that you guys can go check out for yourself. Just checking something. Had it on. No, I had it on the right way. You also have your gas gauge right there, which does not work. That's why I put my my beacon light kind of over it because it's not really going to matter that much. And you have your gas cap here. It's on there really tight, don't know why, but mm hmm And yeah, if you do have a 26 horsepower, you can buy a simplicity with 26 horsepower and put a front loader on here, as well as a rear PTO hitch. So we're going to just do a quick start up. It's only going to be for a couple of seconds. There's not really any reason for it to be running much longer but I know that you guys want to you know hear it run so that's exactly what we're gonna do so how to start it you have to hit the brake or else it's gonna turn over but it's not gonna start okay so you have to hit your brake there one thing before I crank it over <laughs> if you look here it's gonna be a quick startup your seat uh, by the previous owner was zip tied so there's no uh, seat sensor so I can get off and on whenever without it shutting off because 
A lot of people don't like that. And the previous owner that used this did not use it for lawn mowing either. He used it for trailering stuff around the yard. So, yeah, that's what that is. We're just going to start this extremely quickly. It's not going to be long at all. So here we go. There it is. Starts up just fine. You do have to use a choke though, especially because it's it's really cold out and it's been uh, well, it's been out here for a while. So uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, simple, easy, and awesome. But. Uh, yeah, but that's going to be it. There's not a lot to this lawnmower. It's just a regular, simple, what you would think lawnmower, what you would expect. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Consider subscribing. Uh, YouTube says over 40% of you guys that watch the videos are not subscribed. So if you do enjoy this video, consider subscribing. But with all that being said, I hope you guys do have a great day. And we will see you later. Peace. Woo!